Where animation differs from live action recording is the ability to exaggerate. Squash and stretch is the best example of this, and good animators always use it, more or less. Let's look at this example. We have a movement of a crash. The ball accelerates and moves quicker and quicker. At the end, it bounces off. This looks okay, but with stretching and squashing, the move looks much nicer. As the movement of the ball accelerates, it stretches. When it hits the floor, it squashes, and since the bounce starts with long movements, it gets stretched again. As the ball slows down, it returns to its original shape. Here it is. What you should know is that when the ball stretches, it should also get narrower. And when it squashes, it should get wider. Your task is to make this animation. Open Flip a Clip and set it to 12 FPS. I have placed a background with a line representing the floor here. I have also added a line, which is the trajectory of the ball. You can add this using your ordinary photo editor in your phone's gallery. You don't need any special separate app. Leave an empty frame at the start. The ball then enters the shot. Its speed increases, meaning the gaps between the phases get bigger. The quicker it is, the ball gets more stretched. Don't forget, the more it stretches, the narrower it should get. The ball hits the floor and compacts in two frames. Do not shy away from squashing it well. Now the ball bounces as it goes up, its speed decreases. This means that it is the fastest and most stretched exactly here. As it goes up, it returns to its normal shape. Leave an empty frame at the end. Now you can color the ball using the paint tool. At the end, I made the background without the trajectory line. Here it is.